Welcome to part four of our look at small UHF oscillator modules. I had two main problems. First of all, the audio was distorted when I tried to modulate it on AM. And secondly, the frequency 433.92 was popular with other similar low power devices. Hence, if I walked a few hundred meters from home, there was a lot of interference on the frequency and it wasn't possible to do a proper range test. A YouTube video from George M1GEO fixed the AM modulation problem. He found that by applying DC bias to the data input pin, you could get reasonably clear AM audio. I tried it and it worked for me as well. But there were some unexpected benefits. It was actually also producing FM. Low deviation to be sure, but it could be heard on a handheld transceiver. And also, I could actually move its frequency. Instead of 433.92, the signal was on 433.95. Varying the DC bias changed the transmitted frequency a little bit. That allowed me to escape interference and get longer range. For instance, with this set up on the kitchen table, I could walk around 500 meters and still hear this device. Here's the mounting board for the transmitter module, much the same as before, except I've added a 20K trim pot for the bias. On the left is the audio input, the 10 microfarad electrolytic, and the 20K trim pot. Now the voltage on the wiper of the trim pot, I find needs to be around five to eight volts, but you will need to experiment with that for clear undistorted audio. That goes into the data input pin of the oscillator module, the other connections are to ground, positive, and antenna. Here's the setup I'm using, a transistor radio, 12 volt battery, and the transmitter with a small quarter wave antenna. I'm using a Yaesu VX5R as the receiver. A benefit of it is it has reception capabilities on both AM and FM. Here's it receiving the signal from the oscillator module on AM. Interestingly enough, there seem to be peaks at two frequencies, 433.965 and a stronger one, 433.950. This is it on FM. As you can hear, the signal is fairly quiet, but it's quite audible if you turn up the volume. I'd say its deviation would only be one or two kilohertz. And as a hint, make sure your tuning steps are five kilohertz or less. That will help you tune for the clearest signal. With the transmitter buried in the dunes, time to go for a walk. Which Moscow denies? This is 100 meters, and the signal is still audible at good strength. Now we'll just try AM. But a bit better quality on FM. This is 200 meters, still a strong signal. You are listening to ABC News Radio. Paul Quinn here with you. Please have your company. Eastern Daylight Time at half past seven. We're about at the 500 meter mark and the AM transmission is there but no audible entity heard. But on FM audio is still plainly intelligible. We're about 600 meters away. We're about 600 meters away in a residential street a little bit higher than the sand on the beach and the signal is almost fully quieting. <laughs> This is around 900 metres and still two bars on the S metre and comfortably triggering the squill. But because of the low deviation, the audio is fairly weak. 